Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome to my channel. Subscribe to join my fishing adventures chasing the elusive Mulloway Jew Silver Ghost. Whatever you want to call them, I think they're one of the most rewarding fish to catch. Plenty of tips, tricks and tactics to hopefully help you catch that fish of a lifetime. Hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's a good of fish. Oh yeah, that's fish. Oh yeah. Good fish, alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See how long it lasts before it gets hit. Here we go. And we're on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a decent fish. The old vibe does it again. Oh, I love this vibe. And there's three different ways that I'll work it. Oh yeah, there's another good fish. One way I'll work it, is to drop it to the bottom. Another way I'll work it is to throw it out. The conventional sort of way, I really love this vibe. Hey you bunch of fishing legends, and welcome back to another episode. As you can see, I'm out in the boat again. Uh, a bit breezy today. Um, not the best weather, but doesn't mean I catch fish. I've caught fish plenty of times in crappy weather before. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get some live bait, but um, the te intelligent old government have gone and opened up some more gates, so the water's really dirty and I can't even get a bite. So it looks like it might be bait and lure tonight. But anyway, you know me. That doesn't stop me from catching mulloway. But yeah, the live bait's been going off like firecrackers lately, so I would have loved to have some of them. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Lures and baits it is. Um, I'm going to head up to the mulloway spot scene. I'm just try for a bit longer, see if I can get some live bait, but I'm not liking my chances. But uh, yeah, we'll head off soon up to the spot and hopefully get into some mullies. I'll keep you posted. One up there. Oh, get the net out. Get the net out. Net out. Oh, this is a good fish. No, not that net. Yeah. 
big. Wow, how much line he took. Oh, good fish. Nearly 58. There we go. First decent legal, second legal. First one was 47, this one's 57. We'll take this one home, I think, because there's uh, legals are far and few between. But anyway, good fish. See if we can get some bigger ones. Eww. That's why I'm having trouble catching them because they're blooming. Most of them are just small. Look how purple they are. In the ocean, you hold it like that, it's going to flip. Quick, throw it. Go. Oh, I see him shoot off. Maybe. Oh, settle, petal. Settle, oh, settle. Settle, settle you little petal. Oh. He's 45 and a half. Getting bigger. See how long it lasts before it gets hit. Here we go. And we're on. How's <laughs> that? We're on. A few seconds later. Another you know, little fella. I keep losing the big ones. And hooking the little ones. Alright. I'll hook one of those big ones and they'll stay connected sooner or later. See that? They are so thick that they all seem to be just under size. Look the back. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, that's a better fish. Finally hooked it. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, it might be the current, too. Oh, feels like a good fish, though. Feels like a ripper. Oh, see the little fish jumping? Oh, get out of there. Oh yeah, good fish. Oh, what's that? Huh? Oh! Good fish. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> oh. So cute, come on. Come on, 
So where are you? That's a bad fish. That's a big mullet. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, baby. About nine o'clock at night, finally got a decent look fish. At that, baby. 62 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Your beauty on the pilly, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, keep this one. Good size eating these size, I don't care what anyone says, I reckon they taste beautiful with this size. So I'll get her in the live bait tank. Oh, we're on. Good fish. Whoa, 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 get out of there. Whoa. That must be a centimeter. He must be a centimeter. Cheap as he came up, easy. Now he's doesn't doesn't and he's seen the boat and he's like no, I'm not going there. Thank you, really, Nick. You are coming. Get out of the boat. Now he's trying to hide under the damn boat. Get out of there. Beautiful, man. Oh, come oh, on. He's not coming out, bro. That's a taxi fish. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, he's a bit foul hooked. There. Another legal though. There. Big fat head. What? There's another Lego, 56 okay. centimeters. Another good fish. I think I'll keep four and then uh, tag, tag and release the rest. Uh, I'll keep this one. You! Yeah, good fish. Oh, maybe not so good. Goes with that live bait already. Where do I put it? Whoa! Oh! Yeah. No, that was the same one. I thought it already gone, but. Dad, where do I put it? That was a big fish. Dad. Oh! Here we go again. Oh, and this time a little one's grabbed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's about to get it. I hope. I hope. Yes, yes, yes. Yay! Yay! I really want to touch it. Yay! Oh, can we make it three out of three? Oh, Let's see if we can make it three out of three, eh? Yeah, someone's already chasing him. God. Can't believe that. That first one was a real good fish. Oh, 
Oh God. Oh. Good fish, huh? <laughs> Look what I just caught on the plastic fish. I just dropped it down. I was put it in the rod holder and bang. Oh god. Gotta love the croaking noise these mud away mate. Bloody awesome. Had three live baits, they got smashed in like 10 minutes. So I thought I'd chuck out a vibe. Red and, red and white one, bang. 66 centimeter mud away. You beauty. Oh yeah, there's another good fish. Rip of fish, tag and release. Off you go. Yeah. By the way, love this vibe. Love this vibe. The red, red and white, it's going off. Tag and release, 51 centimeters. Yeah. By the way, love this vibe. And there's three different ways that I'll work it. One way I'll work it. Drop it to the bottom, then I'll wind down and then wind it one wind off the bottom, and then I just lift it up, put it down, lift it up, put it down, lift it up. And when you lift it up, you can feel that tail vibrating. And that's what attracts the muller weight. This lure I'm using is actually the uh, 110 mil flying bear fish trap. <laughs> 
awesome lure for mullet. Eh? So that's one way I worked it, and that's how I just caught that one fish then. I'm just spraying these with, with a bit of tuna oil. Fish seem to like the taste of them, so I keep using it. These pilchers are rather soft, I think they thawed out a bit uh, on the last trip, but they're still not, they're not too bad, they're still doing the, doing the trick. Six to be legal in the Kurong, and seven or eight legals now. Another way I work it is to throw it out the conventional sort of way, the way most people work the vibes, I think. And that's just let it drop to the bottom, tighten the line up. Lift it, and you can feel the vibration when you lift it. Let it drop to the bottom. Lift it. Drop to the bottom. Lift it. Oh, just got to hit then. You can feel the vibration when you... Oh, another hit then. Let it drop to the bottom and wind the slack up while it's dropping. Oh, another hit. Seen him, seen it. The fish swim off after the vibe come out of his mouth. Oh, they're loving this vibe. Oh, foul hook again. another legal anyway. How many is that we've got for the night now? Oh god, I'm starting to lose count. Finally a better fish. Fifty centimetres, finally a half decent fish. Far and few between tonight, the legals. That's not a bad fish. It's about ten o'clock, quarter past. Hopefully the big ones start coming on now. It's about the time they came on last time. You get her back. Decent fish, finally. Oh, yeah, head shakes. Finally, the big fish had come. 
Yeah. You ripper. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Let's just pay a hook. Uh, good fish, I reckon. Oh, uh, yeah. The net job, this one. Yeah, uh, big head shake. Oh, yeah. Finally! You ripper! Oh yeah, good fish. Oh yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. Yes! <laughs> you ripper, have a check and look at that. That's what I'm talking about. 72. Thought he was bigger than that. He's a chunky fish though. Have a look at that legends. 72 centimetres. It's about 10.30 at night, but at 10.40 I reckon. Finally on the pilchard. 72 centimetres, hopefully this is the start of the big fellas moving in. You bloody ripper. Get another bait out. Yep. Look at that beast of a fish. Tag and release this girl. Wow. Oh, there she goes. I don't know whether I've got that on camera, but she's off. Talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The old vibe does it again. Oh, fair hope. That's why he's fighting so well. Oh, hooked on the tail. Another mile away. And the third way I use it is to just throw it out again. Let it sink to the bottom and then just slowly wind it in. Like so. And there we oh nearly had a hook up. See? All three ways work. Look at the baby garfish in the water there. Yeah, uh, all, all three of those ways work. I've caught Mulloway all three, all three ways. So try those out and don't be afraid to, a lot of people stop fishing lures when it gets dark. And that's silly because I catch so many Actually, I catch more mulloway after dark on the vibes and hard bodies and plastics than I do during the day. So yeah, don't be scared to keep fishing after dark with the lures. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just when I thought they'd gone off the bike. 
hooked up to something pretty decent in it. Tide's hardly moving. Oh, he's coming at the boat. Coming under the boat. Oh yeah, good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, good fish. Sixty centimeters, sixty one. Sixty one centimetre mile away, floating the pilchard off the bottom. Ties just starting to push in. I'll let her go. Got enough in the esky. Sixty on the floating pilchard. Ready to go, girl. Yeah, off she goes. So many of these fish around, it's looking good for next season, that's for sure. Next season in here is going to be a cracker. Oh, not a way love this vibe. Well, that's the end of another episode, Legends. I hope those tips I gave you on how I work the lure help you out um, when you're chasing another way in the boat. They definitely love that lure, that's for sure. Um, how many did I end up catching on them? I'm, I can't quite remember. Must have been five or six I caught on that lure. And the rest on bait. Anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed the episode. Drop a comment below if you liked it. And got any questions or want to see me do something else in another episode. Alright, see you in the next one. Cheers, legends. Yeehaw!